Hey guys, Kay here, back for the final part of my video, um, my horn tutorial videos. And today we're going to be attaching our horns to our headband, because that's just how I would mount mine. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be using just a headband. I got a three pack of these at King Supers for not much at all, like three dollars. For three of them, they're not exactly the sturdiest things but they'll work they'll work so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on and when you put it on it should feel like it's a little too far back but I mean if you're a guy you don't know this but it's just going to be pretty much straight up from your ear if you can see that just straight up and that's not a big deal I'm going to be using an electric screwdriver and a screw starter because I don't want this thing to crack on me because that would suck and I would have to use another, but that's why I got three. Um, then I've got my screws and I've got a silver marker because that's important. If you're going to be marking on a black headband, you need a silver marker. And um, I've got my little tiny pocket knife to cut holes in the fabric that's on this headband because if you look, it is made of fabric. It's not just plain old plastic. Alright, so what I'm doing first, I want to do is, again, put the headband on, so it's in the middle of your head, and get your horns, put your thumbs on where the screw holes are, and put them up on your head, just so you can see where they're going to sit, and what I've already done is I've already marked them where the holes are, so I can put the screws there, and then, like it. And you want to do this for all of your horns, like especially the bigger horns, because I have my Gamsey horns here, and like you want to know where they're going on. Like I told you they were bad, but you can't quite see it from here, but this one's not very good. Like when you put them on, you want to be able to look, sit back, look, and see where they're going to sit on the headband. Like always getting the angle is hard, so you might want to have a friend or your parents help you with this just to see like where they're going to sit, how they're going to attach. And for the bigger horns, I would use two screws. Because car cat's horns are small, but these I don't exactly trust to just stay on my head like good horns they are, or are trying to be. But anyway, once you've got that, you mark it. And I made some rough marks at first, but then I marked it up better with an X on both sides where the horn's going to sit. Then what I'm going to do is Take them, flip them over. What I want to do is mark on the underside exactly where I marked on the outside. And it might take a couple extra marks to get it to show up there. Right, but now I've got marks on the inside and on the outside. And that's pretty important to the process because otherwise, like, how are you going to know if you're going through straight? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife, open it up, and I want to cut a little hole in the fabric. So that when I use my screw starter on this, it doesn't just get tangled in the fabric and then it just cause problems for everybody. Also on top for my screws later. The best thing to do is just stick your knife in from the side and then you can kind of jiggle it around until the hole feels big enough. Because you can't just poke straight through the thing. I wish you could, but it'd be so much easier. Way too easy. But here they want to do the same thing to both sides. So again, just come at it from the side. Much easier than trying to go in from the top and then messing everything up. And I guess this is also easier if you're doing multi-directional horns because I mean you could do it with 
single direction horns, but I honestly don't see the point in those anyway. I figure there's going to be a time when you just want to put them on and you can't because you don't have time. Well, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to get my electric screwdriver and I've got a Phillips head for the screws, but what I need right now is the screw starter so that I can drill a hole through the plastic. I'm going to get this pushed through the little hole there. I'm going to start. I'm just pushing lightly. Because this is really thin and... I mean, it's hard to tell. I might have to go in there my knife again just to feel around or to cut up the fabric a bit more so I can actually see what I'm doing. It might be better if you have a pair of scissors on hand. Because as fun as it is to try and go back and forth like this. Let me just stop there. Like you can check the tip of the screw to see. Like this has a little bit of fabric tangled in it. So that should help with that. I'm gonna just you'll be able to see where it's drilling through the plastic. Like you can see that it's getting through there slowly but surely. I'm sorry this process takes so long. Because it's And eventually he will get through. And you should come out on the same side as you did. I always twirl it backwards to get it back out, but then you can use it to clean the hole. I think I'll only do one side for this tutorial because otherwise this video will be hella long. But yeah, just want to like clear the debris out of there, whatever you have, like just even a mechanical pencil, just what I'm going to use because all right, I want to just check at the bottom of the egg, make sure that hole is big enough to Make sure it's clean. See, clean hole. All right, now I'm gonna switch this out for my Phillips head again. Get out one of my screws. Good 
first is I want to line this up here. And then I want to push through because, I mean, you can always take it back out, but it gets harder when you're trying to push it back in. And of course, that was a stupid idea that I just tried. But and it is a little hard to get to the screw because obviously you can't come in straight from the side of an object that's pretty much most of a circle. So it just. You'll be able to feel when it takes because you won't be able to pull it out anymore. You can just keep pushing it in. And it should come through the other side. I'm going to unravel it a little bit because you can see where it pulled some of the fabric up with it. And that'll just get in the way later. But yeah, it's going pretty well. And I'm going to back it out until it's just barely in there. And then I want to get the tip of the screw. Maybe a little bit farther out than that. Get just the very tip of the screw, and I want to line it up with the hole on my horn and hold that steady. This is this is where it gets tricky. Just holding it tight as we drill up into it. And you see? on there pretty good this horn is not going to fall off like if anything it might get stuck on there forever which is fine and it doesn't sit completely flat on here but you can always fill that in later if you want or just try to tighten it a little more or turn your whole horn around that works too Make sure it's tight on there, and it, it won't go anywhere. So you can see, that's one horn done. All right. And I guess that's all you need to know for this. You just do the other side the exact same way, and you'll be great. So thanks for watching. Bye.